What's going on you guys? Today I've got a total body Tabata workout for you. All you need is a single dumbbell. I'm gonna be using a 15 pounder throughout. You use whatever you've got. A traditional Tabata workout is 20 seconds on with 10 seconds rest and you go eight times through the exercise. My workout um, intention span just doesn't work like that. If you make me do the same exercise eight times, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, please stop. So here's what I'm gonna do. We are gonna do eight rounds, but instead of doing one exercise, we're gonna alternate between two that kind of complement each other. I promise it's gonna fly by. Grab your dumbbell, guys, and let's get in a quick warm up. All right, guys, we're gonna start just by kind of loosening up the upper body, bringing those shoulders up and then sliding those shoulder blades into your back pocket. Think up, back, and down. Trying not to um, let that back arch and that belly stick out, stay pulled in, stay engaged. Go ahead and switch it now. I'm going to just kind of wave my arms around here. I'm trying to open up that chest. So I'm using the upper back muscles to open my chest, pull my shoulder blades together. There's totally a bug in here flying around and it's gonna drive me bananas throughout this workout. Good, a little distraction for me. It's good for the soul. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just twist side to side here. I want you to pivot on that foot that is um, in the direction that you are not turning in, right? So that back foot to take any kind of stress off the knee. This workout is low impact, this workout is quiet, so if you live in an upstairs apartment or you're working out upstairs, this is gonna be awesome for you. Go ahead and throw a punch now. Rotate and then extend that arm. Warming up the core, we have a lot of core work today, so I really wanna make sure we are six packing it around town here. Like you're trying to show someone your six pack. You're like, yeah, punch me in the stomach. That's what we're doing. All right, go ahead, step it wide. I'm just gonna rock side to side here. I'm not gonna get super low. I'm just trying to get warm. I've got my belly button pulled in here. I'm hinging over slightly. Now what I'm gonna do is straighten those legs out and just come walk from one foot over to the other, up down the opposite way. We're walking it across. A few more of these. All right, we're gonna come all the way down. Meet me in center here. Hang for just a second. And then I'm gonna heel toe my feet together. Roll it up nice and slow. Think vertebrae by vertebrae, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna roll it back down and walk out to plank. Roll it down, walk it out, and then walk it right back up. Roll it up, shoulders back and down. One more time, all the way down. Roll it out, walk it out, walk it back up. Roll it all the way up. Let's do that one more time. Roll it down, walk it out, and then walk it right back up. Roll all the way up, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna step back, push my hips forward, reach up, stretching through that hip flexor, the leg that's back, and then I'm gonna switch. Same thing, other side, pushing the hips forward, and switch. We're gonna do two more on each side. You don't wanna go into this workout <clears throat> with tight hip flexors. Switching again. One more time on the other side. Good, I'm gonna face forward here. We're gonna squat, push the arms forward, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Down, push, pretend you're grabbing something and you're rowing it back. Squeeze those glutes, tuck the pelvis when you come uh, up to stand tall. Don't thrust the hips forward but rather stand tall, squeeze the glutes. One more here. Now I'm gonna press up and squeeze down. Up and down. Up 
and down, a few more here, up and down, trying to get those biceps right next to your ears without shrugging those shoulders up. One more, up and down. Go ahead and just jog it out with me here. You can roll your wrists. We have um, one plank exercise. You're welcome. You can give a little extra stretch here. And there's no burpees. You're welcome. There is something nasty at the end. We won't talk about that until later. All right, let's pick up the pace. I'm gonna bring it to a high knees here. Getting that heart rate up. If you're keeping this low impact still, you can just march it. But if you can go quiet high knees, do it. I'm gonna step side to side for a jumping jack. A modified jumping jack here. Keeping those shoulders plugged in. You can stay here or you can pick it up and go for a full jumping jack. Again, if you need to keep it low impact, just stay here. All right, guys, shoulders back and down. Chest proud, we are ready to work out. Before we jump into this, you guys, I wanna remind you that bodies move, they shake, they jiggle, they have cellulite, they get rolls. So as you're doing this workout, I want you to keep your self-talk as positive as possible. Be kind to yourself, be proud of yourself. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we I've got two exercises in our first circuit. First one is gonna be a squat with a press. I'm gonna have the dumbbell, um, I'm grabbing it by the fat ends. I'm gonna squat down and then I'm gonna throw it up overhead. Bring it back down, throw it overhead. Then the next exercise, we're gonna step back into this kind of split stance. Row, come together, switch sides. Row, come together, switch sides. We got it. Those are our first two exercises. I always remind you of them right here. First exercise, squat, toss it overhead. In three, two, here we go. Down and up. 15 seconds left here. Remember each exercise we're only doing for 20 seconds. It's gonna start easy, gonna get hard by the end. Five, three, rest. All right, in eight seconds, we're gonna go step back, row, step back, row. Back stays flat, we hinge at the hips. Here we go. Row, and then I like to toss it. I've got my back flat, my glute engaged, belly button pulled in. Five, rowing right to my hip, not my armpit. Back two, squat, chuck it overhead. Don't let go, three. Here we go, down and up. Think about that big exhale as you throw the dumbbell up. 10. Three. Good. Step back row in five. Three. Here we go, step it back. Row to the hip. Keep that shoulder blade in your back pocket. If you feel like you've got control there, you can add a reach. So let that shoulder roll forward before you row it up. Rest back to that squat. Chuck it up overhead in five. Here we go, down and up. Be sure those knees don't fall in when you're down in that squat. Push the knees out, use those glutes. Get that dumbbell way up overhead. Three. All right, stepping back, rowing. 
in five. Here we go. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Good. We've got one more round of each, and then we'll move on. We go in three. Here we go. Right overhead. Fifteen. Alright, step back row. In three. Here we go. Think big exhale. Every time you row that dumbbell up. Halfway. Belly button pulled in. Back flat. And, oof, all right. We are moving on to our next circuit. Next exercise is a dumbbell snatch. So let's all start on the same side. So let's all start with our right hand. What I'm going to do is squat down, grab that dumbbell, power it up overhead. You're gonna stay on one side, repeat, right? And then the uh, next exercise, you're gonna keep the dumbbell up overhead and you're gonna march it. Got it? And then we'll do the other side. Other side, other side, other side, other side, other side. We go in 10 seconds, starting with the snatch. Dumbbell stays close to the body. It peels all the way through, up overhead. In three, cheat it up there. You're using momentum from the entire body, specifically the legs and core. Let them be the ones to power it up there. Five, exhale. As you throw that dumbbell overhead. Rest. In eight seconds, you're gonna pop it overhead and march it out. In three. Here we go. Pop it up. Exhale every time you bring that knee up. Biceps. Right next to the ears, you're working on your core. Stability, shoulder, stability. Five, belly button pulled in. Two, rest, snatch on the other side. In five, three, left arm goes. Big exhale as you drive that dumbbell up. Five, three, and all right, relax for a second. Engage the core. And in three, it's up, we march. This side is not as easy as the other side. Wow, do you feel that instability? Five seconds. Three, pull it in. Good. Snatch again on the right in five. Here we go. Straight up overhead. 15. If you can't quite get as low as I am, you can always hang and snatch from there. Five. Two. You bring it overhead, we march it out in five. Five. 
Here we go. Marching here. Again, you've got that belly button pulled up to your bra strap. And you're breathing. Thanks. Exhale. Every time you bring a knee up. Three. Good. We're switching sides. Snatch it up in five, two, here we go, up overhead, keep that dumbbell close to the body, peel it up, ten, five, three, All right, we'll go overhead, march in five. Remember that belly button pulled up and in. March it out. 15 seconds, bicep right next to the ear, shoulder plugged down. Exhale with every knee drive. How's it going, guys? Five, two, Rest. All right, we are moving on. New circuit. All right, here comes our plank exercise. I'm gonna come all the way down. We'll come into a tall plank. What I'm gonna do is reach through. So bring that dumbbell just outside um, one hand. And we're gonna reach through, grab it, bring it across, and then bring it across the opposite side. No butts in the air. Keep that pelvis tucked, abs engaged. And then we are going to flip it over. No dumbbell needed for this exercise. I'm gonna extend. Tap a toe, bring it back in. If you want, you can bring the hands behind and do it this way. 10 seconds until we go into that plank. So we go reaching through, nice, beautiful, tall plank. We're up, think exhale as you slide the dumbbell across. 10 seconds, belly button pulled in like you're in a constant crunch. Three. Good, flipping onto your bum, sitting on that tailbone, hands back and behind if you want. And in three, we extend, kick a leg. Extend, kick a leg back in, again. Belly button pulled in. Remember, if you need to support yourself, with the hands back and behind, that is okay. Five, two, back into the plank, flip it over. We go in five, three, here we go. Reach through, Ten seconds. Pubic bone tucked. Exhale. Try not to wiggle those hips. Rest. We've got the extension into the kick. In three. Here we go. Extend. Kick. Abs pulled in. Again, you can go hands back and behind here if you need to. Three. And flipping back over, pulling through from plank in three. Here we go. Make some weird noises with me. Make sure those shoulders are over your wrists. Try not to wiggle the hips too much. If, you're, if you feel like you're wiggling a ton, widen your feet. I'm gonna give you a wider base. Two. Anyone else's abs on fire right now? We've got that extension. Extend, kick it up. Woo! 
Woo! Bringing those hands back and behind for me. Five. Two. All right, we got one more of each. Plank pull through. Isn't just flying by. You're like, no. Here we go. Pull through and through. Gripping through the floor with the entire hand. Six. Three. Oh my gosh. One more time with that extension. I feel like I'm flopping all over the floor here. Three. Here we go. Extend. Oh my gosh. 15. 10. That is a lot harder than I anticipated it being. Three. Ow! All right, guys. If you want to get a quick sip of water, now would be a good time. I'll give you a little extra rest. We're moving on. We got two circuits left. Our next exercise is a standing chop. Like I said, I'm giving you an extra about 15 seconds here. Standing chop. So I want you to, I want you to mirror me. That way we won't forget. So just mirror me. Do the same thing I'm doing like I was your mirror. Our standing chop looks like this. You can either go from the shoulder down to the side right here if your dumbbell's pretty heavy. Otherwise, we'll come all the way up and across. Belly button's pulled in, core is tight. If you don't trust your core there, then don't do it. <laughs> go to the shoulder. And then we've got a squat with a curl. I'll squat down, curl, come back up, curl again. Are you ready? 10 seconds until we chop. In, two, here we go. You're either up to the shoulder, right? Or you're up above. 10. I'm doing a little switch switch of the feet. Three. And I can also feel that my hair is getting pulled into my armpit. Ah! All right, five seconds till we squat, curl. My dogs are being bad. Here we go. Squat, curl, up, curl. Squat, curl, up, curl. 10 seconds. I'm dripping. Sweat, five, two, rest. All right, we're gonna chop the opposite way. We go in three. You might have to switch your grip either from the shoulder or you're going full range. This is a great core exercise, but you've got to be in control of it. Five, two, squat and curl. Woo, feel that. In three, here we go. Down, curl, up, curl. Ten, five, two. The less these twenty seconds, right? All right, chop, chop. Here we go. You'll find that you probably feel <clears throat> stronger one way versus the other. 10, five, two, Squat 
cotton curl. Is that sweat? That's true, yeah. Thought I had a bug on me. Sweat. Here we go. Down, curl, up, curl. Ten seconds. Biceps are burning. Three. I saw that hit zero and I was like, I'm done. All right, chop in the opposite direction. Opposite hand on top. A little switch. Switch of the feet. Flinging it up there. Momentum. Core control. Five, three, two, ah. <clears throat> squat and curl. That was the hardest circuit, I think. And three. No, I think the last one was. Curl, up, curl, squat, curl, up, curl 10 seconds. I like to dig my elbows into my quads. Three. <clears throat> Woo. All right, guys, we are moving to our last circuit. All right, guys, we are starting with a weighted dip right here. So I'm gonna put the dumbbell in one hand, dip, come back up, pop it up onto my shoulder, pop it up overhead, and repeat. We're starting on one side. The next exercise is a squat hold pulse. So we're gonna get low, stay in that squat, and just pulse it there for the full 20 seconds. It's only 20 seconds. You can do it. We're gonna be alternating sides with our dip, clean, and press. And you are totally free to cheat it up there unless you have a really light dumbbell. You can cheat it up. Here we go. Slide down, cheat, cheat, repeat. Cheat and repeat, dip. So if you've got a lighter dumbbell, you can always opt to actually curl it up and muscle it up overhead. Three. Good. We're gonna hold the dumbbell at first here. We'll squat down, hold it there, breathe, pulse, dance a little bit. Here we go. Down. And I'm just gonna pulse. I'm gonna stay in the torture zone. I've got my knees pushed out. I'm breathing. It's really important that you breathe. Don't hold your breath. Squeeze the glutes. Five, three, and ah. all right, we got the other side. Dip, clean, press. Three, here we go down, cheat, and cheat, dip, belly button's pulled in, abs are engaged, you're working those obliques on that dip, and then you really got to engage the core to pop that dumbbell up, three, good, squat down, hold it, this was a nice quick sweat, wasn't it? down, pulse it here. I'm just coming up like an inch and down. I'm staying as low as I can, focusing on pushing those knees out and using my glutes as well as my quads, obviously. Two, one, ah! All right, dip, clean and press, five, Here we go. Dip it down, clean and press. Remember, shoulder stays down away from your ears. Biceps end up right next to your ear. Five, three. Good. Squat pulse in five. 
three. We're down, we're pulsing. We're enjoying life down here. 15 seconds. 10. I'm playing with a little bigger of a pulse. Three. Oh my gosh, that's making it worse. Ow! Okay. Dip, curl, press. Sorry, clean, clean press. Here we go. Dip, clean, press. 15. Abs pulled in, don't let that back arch. Stay strong through the core. Three. Woo. All right, last 10 or 20 seconds of work. I'm like, 10 seconds of work? 20 seconds of work. Two, and we're down. Now, I'm pulsing. Knees aren't falling in, glutes are engaged. Abs are pulled in, back is flat, and I'm breathing. We are almost done. You are almost done with this whole workout. Last three, two, and ah! we did it, guys. Dumbbell out of the way, shake your legs out. Shake everything out and just breathe. Be proud of yourself because you did it. You're amazing. Let's stretch really quick. Go ahead and step the feet wide here. I'm just gonna lean into one side, stretch through that inner thigh. I'm also gonna bring this arm across the chest here. If you guys liked that workout, or maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that right now. If you did this workout and you don't completely hate me, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And breathe here. Go ahead and switch sides. I'm going to lean off into the opposite direction. Bring the opposite arm across. <sighs> Anyways, guys, as I was saying, if you um, enjoy this type of training, enjoy working out with me, um, there's a link below. I've got lots more workout uh, programs available on my site, so you have to check it out. All right, now I'm going to interlace the fingertips back and behind the back, and I'm going to fold myself over here. <sighs> Stretching through the front of the shoulders. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> that was a good sweat. A good quick sweat. Go ahead and release those hands, bring them to the floor. And I'm going to heel toe my feet together. <sighs> and then I'm going to roll up nice and slow, thinking vertebrae by vertebrae, slow and steady wins the race as I'm just watching the sweat drip off of me here. Shoulders back and down, stand tall. If you need to grab a wall, we're gonna stretch the quad. I'm gonna try to do this working on my balance here. So I want you to grab that foot and then push those hips forward, tucking that pelvis under you. So you can feel that stretch through the front of the leg here. Really important that you breathe. <laughs> My favorite way to stretch is to do five deep breaths in every stretch. So if you want to, you can do that in your own time. Apparently though, when I'm filming, I cannot keep my mouth shut and I like to talk. So here we are. Go ahead and switch sides. <sighs> you guys are gonna wanna make sure you go drink lots of water after this. Replace any fluid loss you might have sweat out eat something, some kind of carbohydrate and a protein. You guys are amazing. That was fun. I can't wait to work out with you again. This is where I'm going to leave you. Feel free to add any more stretching you want. I love you guys and I will see you next time.